Guys, I am super tired, but um, I'm still gonna make a video because I love making videos and it's super fun. But today was crazy and I actually didn't like record today, but I'm gonna tell you whether or not I like the pegs or the peg turbos more in this video because a lot of people have been asking me about it and I think it's a good question to finally answer. And today I was actually running in them, the Pegasus, Pegasus, I was running in the Pegasus and I feel like the question was answered even more than ever. And I feel like I now have an answer to the question of whether or not I like the Pegasus Turbo or the Pegasus more. And if you don't know what the Pegasus are, I'll explain in a second, but uh, they're a type of shoe. Just give me a second. <laughs> Okay, so here is a film camera I've been shooting on recently, and it's like a true film camera. Like, as you can see, well, I can't open it and show you, but there's film inside this camera. And recently, I've been taking so many pictures on this on black and white film, and I'm just getting into this, and it's like really cool. And today, I took a bunch of pictures. Hopefully, I'll get them developed in the next few days and post them on my gram, but I'm super excited about this, and this is like a new thing in my life. So, Definitely be sure to follow me on the gram because I'm gonna be posting some of these pictures soon. <laughs> oh, I am a little bit more up. Um, let me set up the lights and then we'll be good to go. Oh, whew. how does that? Oh, hey, I'm still a little bright, honestly. Okay, how about this? Yeah, so harsh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So this lighting setup is not optimal, but it's what we're gonna have to work with since it is a little bit later tonight than usual. But let me let me get out the two shoes that we're gonna be comparing today. Okay, so I guess we start out by comparing the right foot to the left foot. I'm just I'm just joking. I was trying to make a joke. So, these are the Pegasus. These are the Pegasus 36. These are a newer shoe by Nike and they're a little bit overexposed because they're super bright and a little bit muddy from today's run. Then we have these, the Pegasus 35 Turbos. And you may say, hey, these look pretty similar. But let me tell you, they're very different shoes. So for starters, what some of you may not know is that the Pegasus are a running shoe by Nike that are their neutral running shoes and this is the 36th model like there have been so many models of this shoe they're discontinued for a time and now they're back and 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 these are a really iconic shoe in Nike's lineup but a couple months ago I guess or maybe like a year ago Nike designed and came out with this new shoe called the Pegasus Turbo 35 and, and you may say like, why are they the turbos? Why are they still a Pegasus? What makes them different? So the difference is that these have a mixture of Epic React Foam and Zoom X Foam. And so the Zoom X Foam is Nike's proprietary super squishy foam that is basically just super plush, but also very responsive. They, they use in the 4% and next percents. And then the Epic React Foam underneath is Nike's again, proprietary foam that is used in the Epic Reacts and is very soft and very squishy, but very reboundy. So these shoes in general are just a little bit more refined. They're a little bit lighter and they're a little bit softer than these, in theory. Yeah. Quick intermission here, guys. I just want to say that all these opinions, all these things I'm saying are genuine. This video is not sponsored in any way. These are just some shoes I really love and I want to tell you about them because I think they may be valuable to you in your quest of finding the perfect shoe. And so I hope that this helps. I, I just want to say that because I don't want you to think that this is sponsored in any way. But guys, let's get back to the video. So naturally, you may say, Zach, which one is better? Which one do you like more? Which one is the best? and which one should I buy? 
And and for one thing, you need to know that I actually made a video on these shoes, well, the 35s, at the start of this year, at the start of 2019, that said that these were the best shoes that you could buy. And I said that in the way that they're generally the best shoe. Generally, if you buy this shoe, it will be good for you if you are a neutral runner, if you like to not pronate, and if you... This shoe is incredible. It's about $120. It's very cushioned and also responsive. It's very aesthetically pleasing. The tongue is really thin on this new model. Everything about this shoe is refined and feels good. I really love this shoe. It's, it's incredible. And that's why I said it's one of the best all-around trainers. And one of the things that makes it the best all-around trainer is that it's only $120 retail, which you can get the older models for like 90 or 70 or wherever you can find a good deal. And so they end up becoming affordable, very reliable, very durable, very sticky shoes. And they're great. They, they can do everything. They can do anything that you would want them to do and more. But there's no bells and whistles. There's nothing fancy about this shoe other than the fact that it does everything right. In comparison, we have this shoe, which is basically the most refined version of this shoe possible. It has the nicer foams, it has this new different like mesh upper that's really nice, it has this really cool design, it has a different pattern on the bottom. And the biggest point of this shoe, the biggest thing about this shoe is that it's softer, it's more responsive, it has all the bells and whistles you may want being these new engineered foams that Nike has created. But a big qualm to this shoe is that it cost $180 retail. I luckily found a really good deal and got them for about $104, but that's still way more expensive than I usually go for shoes because I'm gonna run through them in a matter of weeks or months and running a lot into shoe it inevitably is gonna die. And so why spend a lot of money when you could spend less money on a really amazing shoe that will work, at least for me. So the answer to that question is because they are softer. So some people need a little bit more of a cushiony ride than these can provide. And that's fair, some people need that. But for a runner like me, this is not needed and instead it becomes something that I want. So yeah, I, I, I want the cushion in these. I run in these a lot because they're really soft, they're really rebounding, they feel really good and they actually feel a little bit better than these shoes, the Pegasus 36. A little bit. But do they feel $60 better? Because over the course of two shoes, buying two of these, I could have bought three of these. So two versus three, um, which one am I gonna choose? So I know, this wasn't the most in-depth comparison of the shoes. Honestly, I could have gone a lot more in depth. They both are incredible shoes for different rights. Obviously, this is just a little bit of a softer version. They look different, they feel different. They're completely different shoes other than really the name and the shape of the shoe because these are wider, these have different outsoles, but they have similar stack heights and different foams. And so they're obviously different shoes, but they're similar shoes. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, I'm going to be picking these every single day because I can get three of these when I could only buy two of these and so if I can stay healthy and be saving money I'm going to be going with these although these are amazing and although these are a shoe that I will grab before I grab these these are going to fall out of my rotation and I'm not going to pick up a new pair because I'm not going to want to spend $180. So I hope that you've enjoyed that video. Um, it was fun. It was fun recording. I'm glad I could tell you about these shoes. And if you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. I would love it. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And usually the quality is a lot higher than this. But I was just having a lot of fun tonight. And I just wanted to make this video really casual. But guys, have an amazing day. Live happy and be healthy. Bye.